Rhonda with Simple Gifts Farmstead and we're out for another Farmstead field trip and this is going to be a really special one, especially for me. So I'm tapping into my Appalachian roots today. We're in Floyd, Virginia and we're here at the Floyd Country Store where every Friday night they have a jamboree and um, it's really going to be kind of cool this evening. We're going to have some music, we're going to have some dancing, and we're going to have an opportunity to talk with Dylan from Floyd Country Store, who's going to talk to us about the uh, general store and its place in the community. And uh, I just think you're really going to enjoy this, as am I. So I invite you to come along, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I will. I'm Dylan Locke. I'm here. We're here at the Floyd Country Store in Floyd, Virginia, a beautiful little one stoplight town on the Blue Ridge Plateau uh, in Southwest Virginia here. And um, we're sitting in a, in a building that uh, was built around uh, the early 1900s, around 1909, 1910, and has always served as the sort of centerpiece of the town of Floyd. Um, it's always been a gathering space, it's been a grocery store, it's been a general store, it's been a farmer's supply, it's been a feed and seed. It's sort of run through the, all the versions of itself over the hundred plus years that it's been here. Around the early 1980s, it, it uh, found a group of musicians gathering here. Actually, they started gathering in the building next door. So this was the farmer's supply, and next door was the feed and seed. And um, so they were sort of run in, in, in conjunction with, you know, with each other. And uh, people started gathering, uh, playing bluegrass music next door and people started showing up to hang out and listen to them and too many people started showing up to listen to them and so they moved it over here to this building and the rest is history uh, for almost 40 years uh, people have been gathering here every friday night uh, around 1984 they called it the friday night jamboree and so in 2024 we'll be celebrating 40 years of gathering on friday night well, I'm using my Bible for roadmap. Ten Commandments said, Tell me what to do. The twelve disciples are my road song. Jesus will see us safely through. So, um, my journey and my wife. Uh, we sort of took over uh, in 2014. So we're about eight plus years into our stewardship of the Floyd Country Store. And uh, it's a beautiful community. I mean, people uh, still find um, the charm in an old store like this, a place where people uh, you know, have come for over a hundred years to gather. Uh, and we feel like that's significant, especially in this day and age, that we sort of uh, hold on to uh, the, these type of places and communities like this, because I think it stands for something really uh, meaningful, powerful. And um, so we're at, here at the Floyd Country Store, we're doing our best to uh, cultivate and strengthen that community through experiences that are rooted in our Appalachian traditions. Okay. 
everything that this community would have done for the last forever. As long as people have been here, they've been gathering, they farm, they make food, they eat food, they celebrate, they drink, they, um, they make things, you know, they make quilts, they make furniture, they make instruments, they play instruments, they dance. All of these are Appalachian traditions. And so we, we, we believe in a world where all communities connect with their local traditions, place-based traditions. Here in Appalachia, it happens to be uh, really focused on string band music and dance traditions. Uh, and those are alive and well here at the Floyd Country Store. Uh, there's all generations who are participating and um, we see it feeding into itself without a lot of, uh, without much need for additional coer coercion. We live in our van and it's a fine place to live. Sleep where we please and wake smiling there's no rent to pay and we change the yard most every day from high to Guay out to cape breton island there's no shame in being a hobo and it's a great luxury to have a car you know, and I think everyone that is sort of managing and running and preserving old old venues like this, old stores, are sort of doing their part to allow, invite people into these uh, these places that are sincere and genuine and um, hold that, possess that power of, of gathering and people coming together, no matter what their their background is, whatever their you know, religion is or their politics, they come together and they share in an experience together. And that is something that we're, like I said, we're cultivating that and we're also strengthening it. One of the things we're mindful of is, is, you know, what a store would have meant to a community 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago and what it means today. It's changed a lot. Um, we've just lost our hardware store right across the street. It's, you know, Floyd is changing in a lot of ways that are on one hand wonderful. It's, uh, you know, a lot of people celebrating uh, high art and crafts and and artisans and people who are really making beautiful things with wood and you know it's it's great on the other hand we're losing the just simple places So, so one of the things that we're intentional about is making sure that um, the product on the shelves is still um, kind of the, you know, the, the product that you would have found in an old general store. The provisions, the jams, the jellies, um, the, the cooking supplies, the, the kitchen wares, the aprons, the oven mitts, the, you know, all of the things that I think are, are um, what you remember, the penny candy. Um, and also, so that does a couple of things. There's something that's unique about it. You can't find this stuff on Amazon. Um, you know, and it's supporting the, the local and regional um, artisans and farmers and, and the people who are still keeping their traditions alive. You know, so we've got people who are making jams and jellies on local farms. You know, we've got local grits. Um, you know, our food is intentionally tied to the region um, and the kind of food that people have quite honestly gotten away from. People are really happy to go eat cheaply at, uh, with, you know, and eat food that's not good for them. 
So we've really tried hard to, to sort of go back to like buying our produce from local farms, making food that we make here. It's made with, with love and with care and with pride and, uh, and it's in collaboration with, with local farmers. You know where our food came from as much as we can. It's not 100%, but as much as we can, we do that. The way you run a, a store like this in 2023 versus, you know, 50 years ago, 100 years ago, has obviously changed. You know, people are ordering stuff from the comfort of their home and having it delivered to their front door. There's nothing we can do about that. The only thing we know to do is to create an experience here that is meaningful and unique. And we feel like the products, the food, the music, the people, all of that combined is as unique as it can get. And that that is our story. And I think that feeds on itself and people find something that's interesting here. Um, in Floyd, we have a family dollar and a um, dollar general that flank the two ends of town. Mm -hmm. You know, that is, the, that is the new mom and pop's convenience store, except for it's not mom and pop. You know, it's corporate and it's, it, it has lost its soul and its, and its charm. And to me, I think that's sad. So some, everyone that's preserving uh, a place like this, we're huge fans of their work. We got their back. We'd love to network with them. Um, it's just a really important thing to do. The Handmade Music School was um, a program that we brought on in 2016. And even though I said earlier that the traditions are alive and well here, we have all generations, um, you'll see it tonight when you're, when you're here. Um, that doesn't mean we don't want to, you know, offer opportunities for people to engage a little bit deeper. So through the Handmade Music School, people can learn to uh, sing or play an instrument. Uh, they can learn to dance. They can learn about the history. They can learn about culture. They can learn about uh, people's um, journey to uh, Appalachia and how the music, you know, sort of evolved over time. These fiddle tunes come from you know, a lot of different places. And if you really explore that history, it's fascinating. You know, there's fiddle tunes that are, that have been played around here for hundreds of years that come from the British Isles, come from Scotland. You have the banjo, which is African, you know, and the dance is even influenced by indigenous people, you know, um, you know, the black culture and, you know, all of that is swirling around in, in our cultural activities here. So when you see the music played and you see the dance, there's a lot of, of backstory there. So that's another initiative of the Handmade Music School is to um, really tell the full story to, to make sure that uh, people are getting everything out of it instead of just making it, um, you know, everything's got intention mm -hmm. and several layers of how you can dig in. You can come in, you can just watch it happen, you can leave, you can move here, <laughs> you can bring your kids here all the time, All the whole family can engage, uh, the food is for everyone, the music is for everyone, the learning opportunities are for everyone. And it really just brings the whole community. No one, no one is is outside of this. Uh, additionally, we took over county sales, which is. Um, uh, celebrating its 50th year in Floyd County this year. 
and County Sales has been um, is the world's largest selection of old time bluegrass and early country music recordings. And it's been here in Floyd County since 1973. And it has uh, just that, it has the world's largest selection of traditional music, okay? So now when you come here to our little country store, you know, it's, it's got the music, the dance, it's got food, it's got products that you can't find anywhere else, and you've got recordings of this music that are important and can still inspire generations of, of new, new, new young players and older players that are just finding it. biggest city close to us is Roanoke. Um, you know, we have Virginia Tech and Radford as far as universities close by, but really there's not a large metropolitan area within hours of here. So th one of the things we're doing lately, and this happened through, this inspiration came from the pandemic, where we were live streaming the concerts and the dances to our audience during, wh while we couldn't gather because I've just sat here and told you how important it is for this for people to gather this is the thing we want people to do turn off your TV come to a place like this be with your fellow humans and celebrate life you know eat food and dance and and so we were missing that during the pandemic I mean this was I mean a lot of places were but this is a place that really it just really you know, it was hard. And so we did our best that we knew to do by streaming performances out to people. And when we were doing that, people from all around the world were responding and saying, don't stop doing this when the pandemic's over. This is wonderful. I'm a better person. and we, we just launched a thing called Floyd Country Store TV. It's a subscription uh, platform that you can uh, get on your Apple TV, Roku, Fire Stick, your Android, your iPhone. You can download the app on all of these streaming uh, platforms and you can enjoy beautiful Appalachian music, dance, documentaries, uh, probably uh, music lessons. All of this is gonna be populated on the channel and from anywhere in the world you can one enjoy all this content and it's another way that you can support uh, the handmade music school and the floyd country store in our journey um, to sort of preserve our little gathering spot in appalachia and um, you know so it's just another way for us to you know stay connected again we want to cultivate and strengthen our community and we feel like sometimes when you can only fit 150, 200 people in here, that's not everyone we want to be engaged with. We want it to be bigger than that, you know? And so this allows us to do our thing here and share it around the world as well. And we have people from all around the world that are, that are tuning in and, and staying connected with us. And, and we just think that's a wonderful little uh, win in the technology realm, right? In a lot of ways, we want people to check out of technology and come be in, and we still do. We, this doesn't mean that we want people not to come. What it means is that we want the people who can't come to still be with us. And that's a lot of the elderly folks can't drive at night. They're super happy. We've connected them and they're watching from home. And it's just really been a beautiful start to this journey. And so people can go check it out at floydcountrystore.tv. There's a website, there's a little seven day trial. You can check it out and, and um, we hope people will join us there. <laughs>